Hey there, amigos. Did you miss me? I uh, took a little break last week after uploading my 100th battle, and today I'm bringing you number 101, which is a challenge cup for Wi-Fi battle against none other than Wild Chase. So yeah, challenge cup for Wi-Fi. I've been really busy during this past week, and as you can see, I've got some sprite hacks going. Um, anyway, he leads off with Breloom, I lead off with Charmander. I think this was a good type mashup, but it was even better because it turned out that my Charmander had the counter, and I actually went for it. That was incredibly risky, stupid move, but I went for it anyway, and it paid off. I KO his Breloom, which is excellent. So anyway, Spinda goes ahead and uses Dizzy Punch against his Wingle that he switched out. Um, and I obviously want to switch out my Charmander. Uh, he's going to call back Wingle and go into Cascoon. Uh, going to keep going for that Dizzy Punch, uh, spin his signature move, and now I'm going to want to call back because there's really nothing I can do to this Cascoon. Cascoon is at level 97, um, one of the weakest Pokemon in the game, and the leveling shows it. Anyway, I go ahead and just take this opportunity to set up. I can set up uh, Spikes all I want. And so here, I'll actually get off my second round of Spikes as he sends in Whalmer. I figure might as well switch out. You never know, this guy could have Water Spout. Instead, he goes for the Avalanche against my Chansey, and so that's not really very good. Um, my Chansey, by the way, sucks. Um, it really does not have the supporting moves you would want to have on a Chansey. The best I can do is go for the Rock Tomb to try to get this Whalemer a little bit slower so that my, the next Pokemon that comes out can revenge kill it. Uh, I send out Fortress here, and I go for the sub just to see, you know, maybe he can't break it. Um, he goes for the rollout and misses, that's really nice. Go for the strength, it actually does a decent amount of damage. No idea why he just gave up and went for the self-destruct. I probably would have switched out and saved my Whalemer for later, but whatever. Uh, out's gonna come Wingle. He's gonna go for the Air Slash, but I'm behind the sub, so that's nice. I go for the strength, it's gonna do a lot of damage, and for some reason I just, just decide to keep in my Fortress. This is one of the first Challenge Cup battles I ever had on on, on Wi-Fi, and I didn't really realize how important it was to keep your, um, excuse me, to keep your Steel types in reserve, because Steel is such an awesome type in Challenge Cup. Normal moves are so common, and, you know, if you have a Steel type, there's a good chance that if you save it for late in the game, you can wall your opponent's entire team. Anyway, to take out this Darkrai, I send out Spinda, who is by far the biggest worker on my team. Uh, get him confused, he takes himself out in the confusion, uh, go Spinda, that's all I have to say. Out is going to come the Solosis, doesn't have the Magic Guard, which is nice, um, I get him confused, I, unfortunately he is able to set up the Trick Room, but Trick Room isn't really that great in Challenge Cup because uh, with the level balance it means that Pokemon that should be slow will sometimes be fast, and Pokemon that should be fast are sometimes slow. My Crystal, for instance, is only level 73, so it actually outslows the Solosis, I take him out, Out's going to come Cat Cascoon who's going to outslow me. I'm um, gonna go for the poison sting. He's not getting the poison hacks, which is good for me. Uh, and I'm just, you know, doing a little bit of damage to him and just carefully whittling him down uh, with those hidden powers. Cascoon is his last Pokemon. The uh, trick room has ended, and now I take him out with another uh, hidden power, and that is the game. So hope you enjoyed that, folks. Uh, I'm not doing nothing but Challenge Cup for the next two weeks, so stay tuned. So long.